Hey guys, Mrs. Gatch here. Today I'm going to show you how you can use both Keynote and iMovie to create some really cool outros for your YouTube videos. So to start out with, I went ahead and took a little bit of time to make an animated graphic on Keynote um, for my outro. It doesn't matter how long your animated graphic is going to be. It might be three or five or ten seconds. If you need it to be longer to feature another video, you can always take a freeze frame and I'll show you how to do this in iMovie. So if I wanted a preview, I added some uh, interesting little animations or transitions. And if you um, want to see how to make an animated graphic, you can go ahead and check out my other YouTube video that shows you how to do that with Keynote. Um, but here, since I've already kind of gone over that in the past, I'm just going to definitely preview my transitions. So I'm going to see here, I had some fun little Polaroid with a picture of myself so people can go and uh, click if they wanted to visit uh, my website or so and I also added some fun stuff here where it's going to if you want to subscribe they can click I'm not going to put too many transitions because you want to keep it fairly simple so people can kind of figure out what they want to do I will say the most important part about doing this is if you want to feature another video outro to guide your viewers, I would have a box here that is video sized because when you are working in iMovie, your picture in picture is usually only about the size of a film, of, of a normal widescreen movie. So when you're done and you feel happy with your animations, you would go to File, Export to QuickTime. This is really important because you want to export it as a movie. And then you always make sure that it's self-playing. Go to Next Build. I usually keep these at zero, even though I'm uh, Keynote does a pretty good job of working with this. And then you would do your format, hit next, make sure you save, and it'll create your film. I actually have already made mine, so I'm going to go ahead and pop into iMovie. So if I pop into iMovie, I can actually see it here. And I see that it's actually fairly short. It's 3.1 seconds. That's OK. I'm going to bring it in. And I want to make sure that I go to the end and I take a freeze frame at the end. And you're going to understand why. So you go to Modify, and I am in Yosemite. And you're going to pick Add a Freeze Frame. Now what this does is this turns it into a picture. And I can turn this picture to anything that I want. Um, I, I can make this picture last as, any, as long as I want. So let's say I wanted this to be about mm, another 10, 20 seconds. I can go ahead and do that. This is where the magic happens now. My next video obviously was a video that I made about my trip to Germany over fall break. So I'm going to do the picture and within picture feature on iMovie in order to feature this because I'm going to use it, I'm going to annotate it in YouTube to link it. So I'll start here. Press I to go in, and I'm going to feature about, mm, uh, let's see here, maybe until my husband's kind of done eating. I'm sure he'll hate that. And that is what I'm going to use. Now, when you drop it in, I'm going to drop it in at the beginning. Oops, go ahead and ignore that. So I'm going to drop it in at the beginning. And what I see right now is that it is a over uh, right now it's just a cutaway i don't want to have a cutaway i want to have a picture in picture and then this is what's going to give me the liberty to format it how i want so i'm gonna fit it within the orange maybe a little bit bigger see how that looks and also i don't like that there's this dissolve feature whenever you do a picture in picture i actually like to get rid of that and i can see what it's going to look like when i hit play And that's how usually the YouTubers pop in their videos. Now, sometimes you can tell that other YouTubers have multiple videos playing. They do that in Final Cut Pro. Unfortunately, in iMovie, you can only do one picture in picture at a time. I'm going to go ahead and extend this to make it fit my video. And I want to make sure it's perfect. So let's... All right. So that's about a 23-second video there looks good. I do think it's a bit loud. If you don't want to have any audio, you can put it in there. But I actually kind of like my little bit of my German music, so I'm going to bring it up a bit. Perfect. So I have it here. Now I'm ready to go ahead and export. So 
I have to make sure that when I choose file, I'm going to export it as a normal file, okay? Or you can do this also here, share. I don't want to put it up to YouTube or anything like that because I'm going to want to add it to other videos that I make. So um, how this would work is you would always add in this outro after you have made an entire video. So for example, um, let's say I was really into, you know, this was my movie and great stuff was happening as you can obviously see. Very scintillating, but then I would pop into my outro, which sounds a little sad, but this is how it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and I will share this. Actually, I can share it onto YouTube. So I'll pop it in there. All right, now that I have this here, I want it public, outro test, I'm signed in, and it's gonna go ahead and upload it. All right, next part is showing you how to add an annotation onto YouTube. Hey guys, so now I see that my video is already up on YouTube and fully processed. Before you could ever add any kinds of annotations, you have to make sure that the processing goes through. Um, if not, you won't be able to access this menu right here, which is really important. So. So you can see, if it is your video and it's already fully uploaded, you get this little toolbar here that gives you action, um, access to captions, audio, enhancements, et cetera. But what we're gonna focus on today is our um, YouTube annotations. So when you click on it, it's gonna go ahead and open up your video and it'll start playing. As you can see, this was my weird little intro. And now here's the finale. So I see that it's playing, the picture in picture, and I wanna add in my annotation. So I want to make sure that it starts as soon as this video comes up here. So perfect. So I'm going to start it up in here. And you'll select add annotation. And there's so many different ones that you can select. A speech bubble, a note. But I'm going to go with spotlight. So I'm going to select spotlight here. And it's going to allow me to move this around and fit exactly over my video. And then this is the option that you want to select. Um, you see where it says link? You select link and you can paste it to a video. Um, there are several other things that you can do as well. You can do a playlist, a channel, Google+, but I'm going to choose my own link. So I'm actually going to go back to all of my videos that I have and get the link for my Germany video. So I'm going to scroll down here. It was made pretty recently. There it is and all of its glory. So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go ahead and paste it in. And I like to have my um, videos just open up in the same window since I'm already at the end. Um, I could preview the link if I wanted to. I know that it works. And that's pretty much all you need to do. One final thing is though, I want to make sure that this lasts the length of the video because if I only leave it for a little, for three seconds, it'll disappear. So we can watch and see how it is. And then it'll take me automatically to there, which is really clever. Also, as you notice, I did have this little box. And I want to add another one to my subscribe. So let's do that here. And I, so anyone who would want to join or get more of my videos can just click there. There's also an option to have them subscribe to your YouTube page, which I think is really great. And then I, my name is Anna Maria Gatch, so you do have to put your YouTube username. Let me preview this link to make sure. Oh, it's not this one. Mm, I need to go to my own personal YouTube page. That was my mistake. Let's go to my channel. And let's see if this works here. Hmm. Let's see if that subscription confirmation works perfectly. All right, so that is all that you guys really need to do in order to add your annotations. It is um, a great way to just make your videos more interactive. I know of students who have used annotations to kind of make a choose your own adventure video as well as to show behind the scenes. So it's how you decide you want to use it. I hope that you find this useful and you soon start making outros annotations in your future videos. Good luck. <clears throat>